Cindy. I'm actually a home baker and then I like to bake at home basically and currently I'm having classes uh, mainly teaching macarons and cake pops for the moment. My passion for baking started when I was young because when I was young my mom was actually the one baking. She likes to bake like cookies. Um, cupcakes especially for like special occasions such as Chinese New Year so it was from there that I started to help out with her I guess for almost all bakers right what they feel most um, satisfied from baking is um, firstly the baking process and most importantly um, the response that people get when they taste your um, confections as a designer, we usually look through a lot of reference books so we get in touch with a lot of patterns, um, graphics so from there I try to pick up like um, for example if you are doing fondant or icing you can draw those wavy patterns as such My style is like very cutesy kind so I like to make um, graphics instead is another piece of art. It's no longer just for eating purposes. I think the social media is very important and also just the word of mouth. If let's say you just bring some things for your friends to try, then they say, hey, it's quite nice. Can I just can you make for me for my birthday? So this is very important. So another thing, like what I said, um, your skill set. People will come to you if they find that your things are nice, it's easy to make, and then your instructions are clear. The macaron is actually made out of um, egg whites, almond powder, and icing sugar. So the process of making um, macarons is very easy. You just beat the egg whites until fluffy and then you just incorporate the almond inside. Actually, the most challenging part is managing the consistency. It is through practice that you know how to make a macaron. It is actually not very difficult. One tip or one, one thing that you should look out for if you are making macarons is that um, you know macarons, there's the feet around it, the rough edges. So that actually constitutes what we call a perfect macaron. So to achieve that, um, after piping the macarons, we actually need to dry it um, for maybe 20 minutes so that when you touch the top, the, your fingers won't stick. For me, I'm a visual person, so I like everything to be very pretty. Say I'm giving it to friends, I like to package it. No matter how small it is, I like to package it very nicely because I, I put myself in their shoes, so I want to receive something that looks good and then also tastes good. My greatest supporters are my parents. Um, not because they, they are the purchaser or what, it's just the help that they gave me. Let's say I need any printing stuff, my dad will help me do it. And um, if I'm teaching class, I have a lot of things to wash, then my mom will be the one. What I have today, um, I owe it a lot to them. So, a big thank you to them.